Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And these stories are about Encro Chat. And there has been more details revealed in Liverpool courts in relation to some of the bigger cases. Jordan Talbot was described as a top level drug dealer and they found detailed ledgers of £27 million worth of transactions of drugs in 15 months. This was revealed via the EncroChat messages that was hacked on his phone and that was used to convict him without any of the actual drugs. And this is the new precedent that is being set from the hack and the NCA of prosecuting offenders. His name on EncroChat was called Little Nev and the full details of around 500 kilos of Class A drugs were revealed via the messages. Talbot, 29 years old from Formby, was trying to escape to Spain with his girlfriend in a BMW. They had gone around buying several Rolex watches before they did and the detectives arrested them at the Folkestone port before he could cross to France on the day that his licence was about to run out for a previous trafficking offence. So Talbot was literally trying to do the race. He was that close to actually making an escape from the country. And today he has been jailed for 21 years and nine months for the biggest Encro Chat case they've dealt with at Liverpool Crown Court. And this was literally all for conspiracy. So depending on how much you spoke on Encro Chat and how loosely you spoke will add to all of the charges. Talbot was sentenced along with two other conspirators who were couriers, James Ward and Jamie Colton. They used the EncroChat names Stable Toast and Stale Slough. The fourth member is still wanted by the police and he's abroad and his name on EncroChat was Damp Hedge. The four men exchanged 7,000 messages in a 10 week period from April the 1st to June the 13th, 2020. The data handled by European law enforcement agencies was handed to the NCA and Merseyside Police and this forms the backbone of Operation Venetic. And when they say the backbone of Operation Venetic, they mean it is all the evidence in, in some of these cases. 7,000 messages in 10 weeks. This just goes to show how relaxed criminals were with this chat. They said there were six people involved in the conspiracy and they believed it dated back to 2019. What was revealed in the EncroChat messages was the coding that they use for different drugs. Cocaine would be called tops and heroin would be described as bottoms and cannabis would be called jackets. And the main evidence that went against them was the fact that the police found meticulous ledgers that were being held on Word Excel. So they were so confident in storing the information, they kept track of every single transaction. They said that it was a thousand kilos of drugs in an 18 month period. And in April last year, they used evidence of messages where he discussed the drug network. Talbot sent pictures of one kilo blocks of cocaine to his courier, Ward, and said that he would pay him £300 to come and collect them, store them, and deliver the drugs in destinations around Manchester. The courier would use a Ford Connect van with a specially adapted hide for smuggling the drugs, and also money as well. He would take the cocaine to St. Helens and bring back 20 grand from a customer. Dampedge contacted Talbot and said that we need more cocaine and they discussed sourcing them from somebody called Stee Hill for around 38 to 39,000 pound a kilo. And what was revealed in these messages was the fact that sometimes people are not even getting paid that much to take some of these risks. 300 pounds to transport 20,000 pounds worth of drugs to some may not seem like a lot of money. In relation to the cannabis, they said that Ward spoke to Talbot about adding ladders to the van to blend in. And Talbot and Damp Hedge discussed someone owing them £52,000 and went on to talk about buying kilos of cocaine. Five days on credit, they said. Ward mentioned the kilos of cannabis to be delivered to Manchester and further deliveries to Oral Park and also the Wirral. Later that month, Damp Hedge recovered, referred to cocaine that he could buy for 36 grand a kilo and also acquire four kilos of heroin. Andrew Thomas from the prosecution said that Dan Pedge and Talbot talked about the markup price and they looked to make between 500 and 1,000 pound per kilo in profit. The prosecution said that it was perhaps surprising to see that the profits were not as great as some may anticipate and for trading kilos of class A drugs in wholesale amounts. 
The gang bought heroin at £16,000 a kilo and discussed being offered skunk for 3700 a kilo, but they didn't think the quality was good enough for a customer. Moving into May, Talbot told Ward that he'd give him £1,000 for picking up 10 kilos of drugs and also £300 for every individual kilo. Ward revealed that he was holding 13 grand for his boss also at the time. The court said that he would send photos of drugs that were collected back to Talbot. And on May the 20th, Ward travelled to Milton Keynes to collect or deliver 14 kilos of heroin and 10 kilos of cocaine on behalf of Talbot, but the contact didn't turn up. When discussing a further delivery of 34 kilos, Mr. Thomas said that Talbot revealed that once he'd carried a consignment of 58 kilos and he said his heart was in his mouth. Mr. Thomas said messages go through until the 13th of June, the day before they become public knowledge that European law enforcement also managed to compromise the security of the EncroChat system. The court heard that Talbot told Dan Page that EncroChat is fucked. The police have got hold of it and cracked it yesterday. The whole network has gone off. Talbot added, I'm trying to sort Sky ECC now. The Sky devices were an alternative to the encrypted system of EncroChat and the messages showed that Talbot intended to carry on with his criminal enterprise even though they'd hacked EncroChat. And I covered the story on Sky ECC and their hack which they have now been taken down. That story will be put in the link in the bio and also on the website. This isn't the first time that Talbot has been to prison. He was previously involved in a million pound cocaine gang that they said made a million pound a month. And he was caught red handed with six kilos of cocaine back in 2014 in a taxi outside Rushton Garden Centre in Thornton. Prosecutors said in that case that he was radically under sentenced when he was given six and a half years for the Class A drugs plot in May 2014. Phone evidence later showed that he was the leader of the UK arm of the Audacious scheme and he was released from prison in April 2017 and he intended to move abroad as soon as his license expired on July the 20th 2020 and that was the day that he was arrested in Kent. Talbot was stopped in a 20 grand BMW with his girlfriend and he was found with £2,000 and £1,000 in euros on him. Six grand was stashed in his flat in Bootle and an AMG Mercedes registered to his partner and three Rolex watches were bought in Liverpool town centre the fortnight before that cost £43,000. Ward, who is 32 years old with no fixed address but from Kirby, was arrested on July the 21st when the Connect van was seized and the cash counting machine was found with his fingerprints on and £2,000 in cash. The other courier Colton from Waterloo handed himself in on September the 16th and they said that Talbot would be in prison until he was nearly 40 years old. So literally in this story, I don't believe they found any drugs whatsoever. They have literally convicted these men based on the messages from EncroChat. The same messages, I must remind you, of cases in Sweden that are being overturned based on these messages and European courts are saying this interception is not legal, it's actually mass surveillance. The Regional Organised Crime Unit Detective Chief Inspector Jason Fire said that Talbot mistakenly thought that EncroChat was untouchable. He said that unfortunately he was wrong. And he would now pay the price for his actions. And these are big sentences that show how serious this is. So this is definitely the biggest story to be coming out of the UK so far. In relation to EncroChat. And the conspiracy about how much there was moving. And how serious they was involved. But this would definitely not be the last time we hear about cases of this magnitude. And we're definitely going to keep you updated with more information as soon as it emerges from the UK courts and around the world. So I really appreciate you joining me today for this episode. I'll be back again very shortly with another EncroChat episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and join us on the website daily for regular updates. Peace.